Hello guys, it's KDK here and we will take a closer look on free to play Elemental Paladin which is posted by <laughs> a guy who has a really nice name, his name is Spirit of Lothar and you just seen, I just read it and it made me laugh because I I don't know if everyone knows Lothar, Lothar but that guy is awesome. Well, let's just uh, look at the deck. It's a free to play version. From time to time I like to play these free to play ver versions because I mean I'm free to play player as well but I'm playing for such a long time that so through the time I I managed to collect a lot of cards and a lot of dust well let's take a look at this and talk about it a bit so it's elemental paladin so you're playing elementalus basically to proc the servant of Kalimos and Tolvir Kalimos can discover something like for example Ragnaros which would be really awesome for us we can chain the Servant of Kalimos together which I find really really cool uh, and a lot a lot of interesting things uh, Tolvir 3-5-4 mana uh, Taunt with Divine Shield really good Dark Reaper as another elemental to the party Jean which is a new inclusion in the Kobolds and Catacombs uh, really, it looks really solid to me. Two four bodies, uh, decent, and three health to your hero. I guess it can be helpful from time to time. Uh, it's elemental as well, so it kind of pushes the elemental synergy there. So definitely something good. And fireflies, of course, of course, fireflies just uh, flexible minions, and they are elemental. So for man, for one mana, so we can use them to proc the elemental synergy easily. And Stonehill Defender here, just to discover more Tyrians, more like Sunkeeper Tyrians, right? Uh, Paladin has a lot of, a lot of uh, good towns to discover. And Marin the Fox, just because it's free legendary that everyone got who, who locked in, I think so. Why, why not, right? It can get uh, get us some nice treasures there. So let's just go for that. Three Sprawler Dragons, right? It could be even Rizaka's, but... I will fight with honor. Consecration, nope. But I like this hand. If we manage to get hand buffs into that, could be really good. Maybe we should go greedier for the hand buff. On the other hand, True Silver is really good. Righteous Protector is not that good if he plays North Char turn 1, but we can coin out our Creeper to contest it, unless he plays Power Ward, like he could play it. You know what, it will look really weird, but I think we're just going to pass. I don't want to give him extra card. The thing is, if we Dark Reaper and he plays Power Ward Shield, then there's no way I'm going to clear the Cleric and he will get at least two cards from it. Uh, the Cleric would be at 1-4, giving him one card. And I cannot play through Silver next turn because I need to use the coin for Dark Creeper, so... If we just Hero Power, he will just draw a card, so it's Let's just pass. Play. If he plays uh, the Power Ward though... Alright, he didn't play it. So we just coin and two silver clear it. Yeah, now we can develop finally something. We could go Stone Hill, Righteous Protector, or we could just go Hydrologist into something. I like to play the Stone Hill because we have zero dreads in our hand right now. <laughs> Truck. Glue meter. That's oh, not really good. Let's just pick the most expensive card and protect her into that. If we place Potion of Madness on this board, we don't really care. Wow. Oh. So it's some kind of Miracle Priest. Maybe he's playing Lyra version. Or he could play even. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't it. It could be the priest with the legendary weapon, right? And he could just cast the coins to gain the dragon. So we are definitely keeping the ooze. I think, I mean, the next turn is dragon's fire turn, so we don't really want to overextend that much. 
I feel like playing Hydrologist into Getaway, maybe, you know. Um, I think we can just play Redemption. Or we can play second Hydrologist and search for for the gateway because we I think we would get uh, Stone Hill if he if he dragons fires because it was the minion that was played first so we should get Stone Hill Spirit Flash okay he's attacking the Stone Hill. Second spirit lash then. Alright. Now we should get the stone hill, I think so. Yep. You know uh, you know what? And now we have a second chance to find Tyrion and stuff like that, so definitely good. This guy is giving me nice value. Two, four, six minions to buff, so we're definitely going for this. So this will be 4-6 at his turn. Alright, we just stone hill. Search for something. Sunkeeper is solid. If he plays something huge that we cannot answer. 4-10 taunt then. I mean... There's the legendary icon, but... Man, I really want to play the hungry ads in here because he there's no way he's going to how he's going to answer that. Okay, guys, I'm not sure about this, but I think it might work. I want to keep the firefly though. If he wants to dragon's fire or clear it somehow, I mean his win uh, his win condition I think is just. Oh, I was just thinking about Anduin for a moment. His win condition is the weapon. You yeah, know, it's kinda bad because we are not able to kill the two drop, but I think we still do it. Alright. We can play the Firefly. Pass. Sure, there's the Dragon's Fire Potion. Um, he's not healing it, I think that's a big mistake here, because we can just clear it with the true server. Mm. I think Marin is decent here, unless he plays inner fires and stuff, man. That would really suck though. You know what, I don't even want to play it. Unless we have a clear way to kill it right away, I think it's too dangerous. We could play the elemental and give him a divine chill, I guess. If he doesn't shit over dead, we just can kill the the chest. He needs to do second dragon's fire for this. Wow, he's really desperate. It seems to. It seems. Surrender your will to the so it's Rezaka's priest after all. We're just going to break the chest right now. One for all and all for me. Sure, sure. Give me the loot room. Yeah, I like this. We can play the redemption. There's no way we are going to discover. Well, there's one more, one more stone hill, so we can maybe keep it for potential Tyrion to get more value. What's that? Shadow or that? Wow, that's kind of lucky. Come on, bro. So it's not uh, he's not playing the legendary weapon, so we can kill off this. And we can dark conviction this. Kill the weapon. Play this. Why did I dark conviction that? Was there a reason too? And I don't even know why I did that. Well we are definitely drawing. Servant of Kalimos for zero mana is something you want to see. Definitely. 
We can play two of them, possible three if we discover another elemental, I mean another servant. And we can just chain the value. Dragon's fire. Trust me. Oh no, it cannot be Dragon's fire actually, right? Oh, oh my god! Yeah, that kinda sucks, but we just drew three cards, so if there's, well, there's no, no possibility that this is going to go to fatigue, right? Alright, so first we cast the one for zero. Stone Watcher. I will go for it. Western is if we want to play it now. I think we do. I think we definitely do, man. How is he going to answer this? Even Dragon's Fire doesn't answer this. Um, you don't want to over overextend that much. But we can play Redemption if he somehow manages to clear it. That is not going to, and he's going to take 8 damage next turn. For real, man. For real. That was top deck card. Come on, bro. No, not fair. We can discover another one. Um, the Grime Street will definitely buff the minion, which will come from this. But we, well, yeah, let's buff it. Let's buff it before. Frozen Crusher? We can play it after Anduin. Why not? So, question is, does he have the... He cannot have the Dragon Fire. We, I think we should just go ahead and play this overextend a bit because we want to kill him before he kills us if he plays Anduin it's not such a disaster come on bro this is second time we just top deck a card that just can give you an out like silencing my storm watcher yeah I mean 4 damage to all I guess 5 damage, pull him from the minion, this one, <laughs> this one, pull him off this one, oh my god! It worked! I can't believe it! Yeah, we got this. Oh, we still got this. Alright, well played. Free, free to play version for the win, guys. You can defeat freaking Rezakis Priest. That's really good, right? You, I think you just need to pilot these decks really well because you have to value the cards, you need to know when you should play the buff, when you shouldn't play the buff. A lot of things to think about. Uh, for example, playing the Stonehill as a first minion just gave me the option to play the Hydrologist, take the, take the, um, how's it called, Getaway Kodo and get the second stone hill which provides me another chance to get something useful uh, like Tyrion Sunkeeper or Burn Whistle for example would be uh, it would be decent but it still provides you more value more value the same goes for the Servant of Kalimos uh, you can chain them a lot and well it didn't happen in my game but anyway um, thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video We're I don't think we're going to play the expensive version right now. Maybe I will make another video about it that could be a thing as well. I just want to keep this free to play for new players. So I hope you learned something and definitely you can do some stuff with free to play decks as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did definitely subscribe to my channel. A lot of stuff is going out there so have a nice day as well something to wish you. See you!